Guardianship. Sometimes when a person is in a hospital, the hospital will be a petitioner in a guardianship proceeding. Why, did they, why do they do that? Well, in my experience, there are several reasons. One of which is there are no family members involved or there's family members that are in another state and are distant. There are family members that haven't visited, right? Just an absence of family members and the requisite condition, right, for the person. So uh, if I'm a single person going into the hospital, well, hospital won't be a petitioner uh, in a guardianship case against me or on my behalf, really, because I am fully competent. The legal word is I have full capacity. I'm able to have my own autonomy. Um, so those two things coupled, right? Family members aren't present and the requisite diminished capacity is there for the person. Another reason is the hospital wants to get paid. So maybe they get appointed, or I'm sorry, they, they seek to be the guardian uh, to for a discrete purpose, to put the person on Medicaid, to assist the person in getting uh, coverage for long-term care, um, and or maybe they need assistance to get a safe discharge. Again, lack of resources, lack of family, the person needs to go back into the community and no one is there to assist the person. So those are some of the several reasons that a hospital might become a guardian, a petition to be a guardian. No, the hospital would not petition to be a guardian. The hospital would petition to have a guardian appointed. Oh boy.